Hey everybody, I'm Brad, and this is Cyberfluidics from Tattoo Smart. I created this brush set to replicate the much more complex design process that I use in Adobe Photoshop in the iPad app called Procreate. You can purchase the brush set from the world's leading supplier of digital tattoo design tools at tattoosmart.com. So there are almost 300 brushes in the set, which I know can make it a bit overwhelming at first. So to simplify your navigation through the various patterns included, you have designed an emoji-based naming system for the brushes. In the video you're about to watch, I'll explain the naming convention for the brush set and the variations you can create with additive and subtractive pattern building. This is a great place to start with Cyberfluidics, so stay tuned to learn the basics. If you're looking at this set for the first time, you're probably wondering why emojis are scattered like glitter all over the place. This is a small proto, this is the medium, and then this is the large, indicated by the blue, green, and the red. And you're gonna be seeing that throughout every single brush on here. Um, next is the name, but when there is not a name and there is an arrow, that indicates that it is a variation of a, a brush that already exists. Say like here, this is a small up arrow cube. What this is referring to is the cube brush that is back here in the isometric set. So this cube here, it, it brushes with all of the sides of the cube. But if we look at this top cube brush, it you will only be getting the top portion of the box. As if I look at the left one, you get the only the left side of the box. You see here a little closer what's going on there. Next is the name, but after the name is either going to be the circular emoji or a um, shuffle emoji. And what this means this is, an, it, is that it's an inverted version or an offset version. Don't worry about offset version. I'll, it's, only from one of those sets. So it's basically the same thing. Uh, but the inverted version is just, it takes the grain pattern and it turns it, turns the black to white and white to black. Um, this gives you some variation. There's some opportunity here to actually use an eraser. Uh, there's also variation, for instance, like with the hex. Here's the normal hex. See here, uh, it grows from the center out. And then if I use the inverted version with the normal brush, you actually get the lines first and you see it go back the other way. A really great use of this is actually using one for the eraser. So if I select uh, the normal small hex with the brush, make sure I have black selected, go ahead and do some painting. We get it really dark in there. Now, what if I want to actually reverse that? I can't go in with a normal eraser. It's just going to wipe out all of it every bit of the hexagon. So what I do is I actually, you wanna use the inverted version with the eraser. So with the brush that you wanna erase selected with your brush, hold down on the eraser and I'll select your current brush to the eraser and then you can just go one, one click down. And you see here, it opens it right back up. You can use this the, the other way around too. I can use, the inverted version with the brush and then erase with the standard version of the brush. Works both ways. That's the basics of what's going on with the set. And I'll go into the more complicated stuff in these next videos.